Hello guys, in this video we will see how to create Azure database for PostgreSQL, the latest version that is 16. Then we will see how to connect to Azure database from PG admin as well as the PSQL client. So I have connected to my Azure portal. Click on this menu, then click on all services or in the search resources search for Azure database for PostgreSQL. See here the drop down we have both that azure database for postgresql flexible servers and azure database for postgresql servers but this is not available even if you click on this one it will redirect to postgresql flexible servers let me click on this azure database for postgresql servers see it is showing azure database for postgresql servers but if you click on create azure database for postgresql server See, it is showing new Azure database for PostgreSQL flexible server. Okay. So, go back, search for Azure database for PostgreSQL. Click on this flexible server. See, at present I don't have any instances. So, click on create or click on this create or click on create. Azure database for PostgreSQL flexible servers. Click on it. See, this is the here we have to fill basic information like subscription type, server details, and storage information and authentication types. Okay. Okay. First, I I don't have pre trial subscription. If you are having pre trial subscription, then provide it. Okay. I'm going with paid one because I don't have. Then select the resource group. See. I have following resource groups. If you don't have any resource group or if you want to create separate resource group for this PostgreSQL, click on create new then provide name. AZ PostgreSQL. Okay. Click on OK. See this new. Then provide the name for the this PostgreSQL flexible server. I am giving name as PG SQL 16 prod. Okay. Also, see here the message can contain only lower case. Okay, so I am giving PG SQL 16 prod. See this name satisfied with these three rows. Okay, you have to keep this in mind. Next, select the region. It is always recommended to select your local region. I am going with same the default one that is US East. Then select the as PostgreSQL version. See we have the versions from. 11 to 16 so the latest is 16 so i'm going to select latest that is 16 then workload type production small or medium size or production large size or development based on the your design you have to select so based on this workload type the cost will change suppose if you see if you select the production small the cost is 23000 if you select large size the cost is 36,000. If you select development, it is only 1300. Okay, so based on requirement, you have to select by keeping cost in mind. Okay, so next, store compute and storage. See, the default is one CPU cores and 2 G, 2GP RAM and 32 gigabytes. If you want to change these settings, you have to click on configure server. Here, we can select the storage type, storage size, performance. Okay. Also, you can select the computer type. Even if you are not satisfied with these things, you, have, you can select any one of them. But for this demo, I'm going with the first one that is burst up. Okay. Click on save. Now, available to join. We have one, two, three. Okay. I'm going with one. Then, high availability. If you want to enable high availability, then cost will increase. Also, notice here, high availability is only available for the production even if you select this one see the option has been changed so for production it is recommended to select it also change it then authentication method see authentication postgresql authentication or microsoft extra authentication only or combination of both okay it is microsoft enter authentication so give the i'm going with postgresql authentication Provide the admin username. I am giving admin username as admin and password 
See, it is not taking that means. See, the following are not allowed. Okay. So, I am giving after scores. Then provide the password. You have to remember this password. Or simply you can give the postgres. That is also fine. You have to remember this username and password. Okay. These are the basic settings. So, next click on networking. See, public access. You want to allow the if you want to connect from public access, you have to allow the public. Next, firewall rules. If you want to provide the IP range, you have to provide. By default, I am going to add my current IP. That I will show you what will happen if you don't provide. And the port is 5430. Okay, next, security. I am going with the default one. Then, tax. I am not going to provide the tax. Click on review and create. See, these are the options or the parameters that we have provided for this PostgreSQL as a PostgreSQL instance. Okay. If you are working with all these settings, click on create. Otherwise, if you want to modify any one of them, you have to click on these tabs and edit and click on create. Okay. So, I am okay with all these settings. Click on create. See, it is asking configure IP address in firewalls. I will create later. So, click on create server without firewalls. See, deployment is completed. Click on go to resource. See, this is the server name and this is the server admin log name that we have given. Okay, this is the version availability zone to availability not enabled. So, if you want to reset password for this admin user, you have to click on reset password. Now, we will see how to connect to this Azure PostgreSQL from the PG admin. Okay. First copy this one. Go to PG admin. If you want to install PG admin, then go through the link provided in the video description and install it. Okay. So right click on servers, click on register, then click select this server. Then provide the name AG PG 16. It means Azure Process for 16. Then here the name can be anything. Okay. Connection. Provide the provide this server name. Then port is 5432 maintenance database. The default is Postgres and username. See, this is the username. Whatever the username here we you have that we have to provide. Okay, provide the password. Then click on save. It will throw here. See, unable to connect to server, connection timed out because we haven't configured the firewall. So, go to the overview, then click on networking, scroll down here, we have to configure the firewall. So, I am going to add my current IP or else if you want to add the IP range, you have to click on IP range and we have to provide. It. So, at present, I am going to provide your IP or just type the my IP, then provide your IP. See, mine is type here. what is my IP, then you will get your, if you click on it, you will get the IP. So, you have to paste that IP here, okay. See, this is my IP address, copy it or just click on this one add, okay. I am giving the start as that one and end also same. Then click on, see, still we are unable to click on save. If you click on the next line, see, we are able to click on save. Let's save it. updating the connection security settings. In meantime, go to the PG admin, click on save. Now we will be able to connect. See, we have successfully connected to the Azure process. Let me close this one. Expand databases. See, we have only the one database that is Postgres. If you want to create database, right click and click on create database then provide r to schools okay if you want to provide all the other information you have to provide 
like security almost less well, this is the script to create the database you can say see new database has been created successfully this is one way to connect to the poster sql from peach admin the other is db ever again if you haven't installed db ever install it by going to the link provided in the video description clone db ever close this one see in db ever we can connect to almost all databases click on this new database connection then select the poster sql then click on next then here in the host we have to provide the this one copy it go to db ever paste it database is postgres authentication username is postgres provide the password if you want to save, save the password you have to check this box otherwise don't want. local client see local client is this one click on finish see we have successfully connected let me expand provide the password click on save okay then expand databases see here still we are able to see one database why because we have given here go to edit connection here we have to change the database name. here we have to give the database name as Arctos. click on ok click on s provide the password click on ok expand databases see we have the Arctos. the third method is by using psql to connect by using psql you must install the PostgreSQL client okay so i have already installed psql let me open cmd yes see i have installed otherwise just give psql hyphen mars see we have installed psql psql hyphen v see i have installed PostgreSQL version okay so cls to clear screen psql hyphen h then host name here host name is this is the host name copy it paste it hyphen d d means database so database is postgres then hyphen p and hit enter so p is not required we have to give hyphen u then provide the username username is this is the username hit enter provide the password for this user See, we have successfully connected to PostgreSQL 16. Let us verify the list of the databases. So, command is forward slash help. See, we have created one database. Except these are two schools, remaining are the system databases. And also see the one on details. For only this user, this database one is Postgres. Because we have created database by using Postgres user here. Okay. So, if you want to switch to Artuscourse. Let us verify the list of the databases. Sorry, tables. So we don't have any tables because it is fresh installation. Let me create a table. Create table student s number int primary key s name var char fifteen. See, we have created a table. We can verify by going to this one schemas public tables see we have the new table see this is the table structure you want to see the columns see we have two columns okay see it is up and running suppose if you are not using or if you don't want click on stop so azure will charge based on the usage and if you are not going to use anymore you have to click on delete so this instance will be deleted okay so in this video we have seen how to create azure database for PostgreSQl instance and how to connect to it by using pg admin db ever and psql tool okay for more PostgreSQl server videos please subscribe my channel thank you